Hello, sports fans and out of the park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with a game from my Philly season. We're doing the 2015 Phillies, starting a Phillies playthrough. I don't know how long I'm going to do it, how many years I'm going to stick with the Phillies here, but uh, we're doing it because I bought uh, Out of the Park 24 recently and i have never really given being a general manager a real solid shot and so i am giving it a solid shot here and so let's check in and see how we are doing we'll go to the standings page uh, major league baseball standings and you can see we are a not very good 34 and 47 that's putting it mildly Although the Braves, who we are playing today, are 34 and 45. So they're also not having a very good season. The Washington Nationals are winning our division, which, you know, this is based on 2015. Now, if you know out of the park, you know it might be loosely based on 2015. Players can perform much differently than they really did, and teams can have players on their rosters that were never really actually on their rosters that year but the 2015 nationals were a pretty good team and they are winning our division three and a half games over the mets 13 over the braves and 14 over our philadelphia phillies so uh if we take a quick look before the game here i'm going to take a quick look at um team statistics just to see what we're doing uh we can as you can see we're not very good offensively um our team batting stats now um the pythagorean record actually we would be over 500 so that's kind of concerning because you can see right here we're 34 and 47 but the pythagorean record says we should be 41 and 40 um uh, but anyway um we are Really, the only thing we're pretty good in offensively is uh, strikeouts, and I don't. I, I'm assuming that that's saying that we're good at avoiding strikeouts, um, and base running. We are pretty good at base running, but everything else we're like tenth, eleventh, eighth, eighth, eighth. So, uh, but pitching wise. Um, Pitching wise looks a little better, but it isn't that much better. Uh, we are first in um, batted batting average on balls in play, um, and we're like tied for sixth in home runs allowed. Um, but we walk a lot of guys. We walk too many guys. But anyway, you get the point. We're really not that great. So I do have my work cut out for me, but we're going to play today. We're going to play the game against the Braves and uh, see what we can get from it. Um, now, if you remember the last time, I uh, took myself off manager. I started the year, I started the playthrough as the manager and general manager, but I took myself out as manager and hired a manager. However, I am going to manage this game. I think it'll still let me... Uh, be the manager. So uh, we're going to start the game. With that all having been said, we're starting the game. Um, so you've got, uh, yeah, we're we're um, visiting. So Ben Revere is the batter. And we're going to take the tour around the stadium. Now, this is using the generic stadiums. I haven't imported stadiums yet. I only recently learned how to do the stadiums that are in the game, like the current day stadiums. Um, but I haven't put them uh, in the game yet. So we don't have, although I think we've got the Philly stadium for me. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't really matter because I'm the general manager mainly. I don't actually play the game, so I'm not really as concerned with the looks of the game on the field as I would be if I were managing the game. 
And that looks like we uh, got out in the first inning. And so we're going to the bottom of the first, and we got Aaron Nola pitching. Carlos Ruiz is behind the plate for us. And that's going to be no. That was a great diving catch by, was that? Who was that? Frank Coor? Was that Frank Coor that made that catch? We got Frank Coor? See, I don't even know. I mean, I'm the general manager. I don't even know. But anyway, there's a strikeout. So there are two down quickly. And Nola's going to be dealing to Cameron Mabin. And Cameron Mabin might not ground. He's not grounding out because uh, third baseman just puts that in his pocket. So now Nola is dealing to Freddie Freeman, and that looks like Freddie Freeman. You know, what's really weird to me about this game is there's players, they have player-generated faces in this game that look a lot like the people they're supposed to be. And then they have faces that are just like generic faces. Like this is Andrelton Simmons. It looks nothing like Andrelton Simmons. But there's an out, and it looks like we're out of the inning with a 0-0 game going to the top of the second. And uh, Mikhail Franco is going to be the batter against Alex Wood. Again, from what I know of Alex Wood, that looks like Alex Wood. Maybe that's just a, thing, a 24 feature that a lot of the players do actually look like they're supposed to. Um, you've got Freddie Galvis, though, does not really look like the real Freddie Galvis, but I'll take it. So he's up, and he is going to deliver a base hit. So he's aboard, one on, one out, and Carlos Ruiz is the catcher. Looks kind of like Carlos Ruiz, I guess I would say, and but he grounds into a force out at second base. And so Andres Blanco is the batter. And Andres Blanco is going to look like rip a base hit. Yep. So we got two guys on with only uh, with two down. And Jeff Francoeur. Yeah, that was Jeff Francoeur that made that catch. And uh, he's going to ground out to third base and we're out. So we're going to the top of the, or the bottom of the second. In a 0-0 game, Aaron Nola on the mound. And uh, he's going to have a ground out. The first batter, he gets Tejada to ground out. And Nola this year has a 261 earned run average for us in 20 innings. Almost 21. And that is going to be a home run for the Braves. So the Braves are going to take a lead here. Phil Goslin, Phil Goslin of all people, cracks a home run off of Aaron Nola. So that jacks his ERA from 261 all the way up to 305. And, and there's a strikeout. So Nola going back to business. Alex Wood is the batter. Hopefully we get Alex Wood out and then we get out of this inning. Only down one nothing, and that is exactly what's going to happen. And we are going to the um, top of the third. And, um, yeah. And we got Aaron Nola batting. And he's going to strike out. Now we got, we're back to the top of the order with Ben Revere. Ben Revere. And that was a nice hit. He gave it a ride, but it was a fly out. And uh, we got good wood on the ball. I don't want to say it was a nice hit because it wasn't a hit. Dominic Brown is up. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. And we are in the bottom of the third inning with Nola dealing to Malik Smith. Malik Smith is a speedy guy and he's going to rip a double. So, Malik Smith is aboard with a double. And we are all of a sudden in trouble again. So, let's see here. We've got, uh, we're pitching to Adonis Garcia. I think in real life, isn't he on the, uh, isn't he on, um, 
the Rangers now. But anyway, he's out, but he does move the batter over to third. So we got a man, they, they've got a man 90 feet away with only one down. Uh, I'm not going to bring the infield in. Not a big fan of bringing the infield in. And uh, it usually, it usually, in my opinion, it makes things worse than it does actually potentially making it better. But that's going to be a double play. And that'll get us out of the inning. I think, does it? Or maybe not. Yeah, yes it does. So, so we're down 2 nothing in the... Um, Top of the fourth, right? Yep. Top of the fourth, and we got Chase Utley up, who I extended by one year on our on his contract, and he flies out to center field, so there's one down, and Mikhail Franco is up. Only down 2 nothing here, but um, it's only the fourth inning, too, so we're down 2 nothing after, you know, three innings. There's a double, though, for Franco, so that was nice. Now, the current day Franco is not very good, so he probably wouldn't do that, but let's hope out of the park continues to rate him better, and he gets on a career trajectory that's better than what he did in real life. There is two down, though, and now Carlos Ruiz, our catcher, is batting, and he is going to get an infield hit. Infield hit for Carlos Ruiz. How often are you going to see that? Which brings to the plate Andres Blanco, the second baseman. And he is going to be out. So we didn't get a run. We did have a threat going. We had runners at the corners. But we're in the bottom of the fourth. Nola's still out there. And he still has plenty in the gas tank, too. Um, and that's going to be a ground out to the first baseman. One down quickly. That brings Ruben Tejada up. And he's going to strike out. Nola pitching well, except, I mean, he has given up two runs. One on a homer um, and one on a double. And then the man was uh, was uh, fielder choiced over to third and then scored on, I think, a fly ball or something. So, anyway, that's going to be deep into the, by the wall, though. And that's going to also score another run. And so the Braves are now ahead 3 nothing. And Goslin again. Goslin is killing us. Who knew that Goslin could hit Aaron Nola this well? I mean, I certainly wouldn't have suspected. And now Alex Wood is up. And he is going to rip a hit. Alex Wood getting a hit right up the middle. And the one thing I don't like about out of the part 24 is compared to when you play out of the park 22 and i have 22 i still kept 22 i didn't get rid of it when i um bought 24 now i got 24 through steam and i've got 22 is just 22 a standalone 22 but what i've noticed uh with the game um from a manager standpoint is that the game is the on-field play, the looks of the on-field play is choppy in 24. It's choppier than in 22. You've got choppy plays, like with players running over and making plays and stuff, and you also sometimes don't even see the pitch. It's like the you, one minute you're looking at the pitcher, like one minute we're looking here at the pitcher, and I could potentially say swing away, and he... um. See, right there they did show the pitch, but sometimes they just show the result of what happens with the batter. So, I don't know if that's just a result of this being, like, through steam, and that's how it is where it, when it's in steam or not, but uh, sometimes that happens. And uh, and I'll point it out when it does happen. I'm going to keep Nola out there. He's down 4 nothing, but I don't want to go through the bull. I don't want to... There it is. That hap. There you go. He right there. You notice how it kind of didn't show his wind up or anything. It just showed the pitch going to the plate and then, and then the uh, result of the hit. And in twenty two, it shows everything. It shows his wind up. Now it's nice that he's got you know that they've got the numbers and the names around the back of the jerseys. That is kind of cool. I just wish they could com combine it with the smoothness of the look of out of the park 22 because to me the look of the play on the field 
is a lot smoother in 22. There's two down here. It looks like this is going to be Nola's last inning. This is in the fifth. And not only that, but he's, I mean, getting his ass handed to him, too. But, um, it, um, you know, the, 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 the look of the play on the field is a lot smoother in 22. And if you want to see that, just go back and watch some of my games that I've done in 22 with the White Sox playthrough. So I'm going to get somebody up in the bullpen right now because um, we're going to get Eikhoff up in the bullpen because he's a little bit of a longer guy, I would say. Um, and Dominic Brown is the center fielder and batting here as we are down 5 nothing, and he's out. And that brings up Chase Utley. Chase Utley, the first baseman in this game, and he's going to fly out to center. And that brings up Mikhail Franco. And Mikhail Franco has, he's given the ball a ride a couple of times, but... Uh, has not been able to put it away. So we're going to bring in Eikhoff. He's ready. And uh, no reason to keep him waiting. Down 5 nothing, And we got righty on righty here. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop for the first out. And um, Christian Bethencourt is the next batter for Atlanta with nobody on and one out. And he's going to ground out to shortstop. So there's two down quickly. Galvis making two quick plays to get us to two outs with nobody on. And Alex Wood the batter. Now he did have a hit the last time up. Hitting 161 on the year. And he has another hit. So that batting average is just getting higher and higher for him. And that brings Malik Smith up to the plate. And Malik Smith is going to fly out to right. So we do get out of the inning with a zero on the board, which we really needed, but we still got to find a way to get five runs, and Freddie Galvis is the batter. And he's going to ground out to shortstop. That brings up Carlos Ruiz. And he's going to walk. So let's see if we can start something here. Andres Blanco is up. And he strikes out. And Frank Gore is the batter. And he's going to get on with a no. That was a line drive caught. I thought maybe that would have been a, a ground ball that they couldn't play. But Ikov. Now, Ikov is coming up next inning. So I am going to get Jake Diekman up in the bullpen to warm up. And we are going to pitch to Adonis Garcia. And he's going to ground out to Utley. So there's one down quickly. Ikov pitching well coming on in relief here. Uh, the last inning. Although here he allows the ball to take a ride, but the center fielder grabs it. So there is two down. And Freddie Freeman up. Freddie Freeman has been I think uh, I don't know I don't I, mean, I don't know if he's got a hit today or not but doesn't seem to me like he's been doing well not this game um, I there he is I caught batting I'm going to okay yeah so we're gonna pinch hit uh, Grady Sizemore for I And he's not going to get on. Thought maybe that might drop, but it didn't. Ben Revere is up. Ben Revere is going to fly out to right. The right fielder getting a lot of work here for Atlanta. There's two down quickly, and Dominic Brown is the batter. And that's going to be, he's going to be safe. Infield hit for Dominic Brown and Chase Utley up. And he's going to strike out. So, I mean, we're just not doing anything against this Atlanta pitching. Um, it's just not working. We're going to bring in Diekman. 
the Deeker. And, uh, yeah, that, and that looks like Deekman. I mean, I, that's, you know, I never really noticed this before. In 22, a lot of the faces are generic. Every once in a while, you see a guy that looks like the guy he's supposed to be. But it doesn't happen a lot. But in this game, it seemed, in 24, it seems to happen a lot that the player faces that are on face gen uh, do look a lot like the players that they're supposed to be. So there's two down, and um, Goslin is the bad course. He's been tearing us up all day, and he's going to pop out or line out softly to second base. Now we got to have five runs right here. We've got Mikhail Franco to start that effort. And that's going to be a fly out to center. You know, I haven't seen a lot of the choppiness in the, um, and what I was talking about before where the pitchers, you don't see the wind up of the pitcher. It hasn't really happened too much here in this game, but it does. I've seen it in other 24 seasons that I've started or, or done or games that I've played. Anyway, that's a double. So here's Carlos Ruiz with a man at second and only one out. And he is going to fly out to right. There is two down and Andres Blanco is the batter. And there it happened right there. You saw it. You did not see the wind up or anything. And, uh, and that was a walk. So we've got two on with two out and Frank or the batter. And he is going to fly out and that's it. So we will take a look at the box score. Um, we, we dropped to 34 and 48. The Braves go to 35 and 45. Neither one of those is very good records. There's the batters for the box score. Uh, today and there's the pitching line nola pitched five he gave up 10 hits and five earned runs that's not the nola we know in real life but um and then ikov went two pretty good innings and deekman went uh, pitched a good inning but um that none of that is helping us so we'll finish today and we will take one last look at the um at the standings See if we slipped to the bottom. We didn't yet. So, although we are only a half game ahead of the Marlins. But anyway, that is where we got. And that's how it is. And that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.